Oh, so there's too. yeah, there's drilling mud as we're walking. Here. Yeah, it's all along here. This has somehow been suctioned up probably. That's mud. Yeah, that's all muddy here. That's mud right there. So it went out. So the, they're saying what the hole appeared. That's drilling mud too. And that's all drilling yeah, mud in the water here. Do we see any fish in there? Yeah, I see little tiny fish. So there's some mud in there. I see a dead crawfish. Yeah. Uh -huh. Right there. But I do, see, I do see live fish. Oh yeah. There, okay. There a I did see. I do see right a dead crawfish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I see something moving. I see some little fish, fish. moving in it. But this is full of mud. Yeah. This is full of mud right here. And you're right behind. Yeah, right there behind your foot. Yep. And this has got these orange. Mm -hmm. bags of whatever. Sand maybe I guess. Probably sand. And you can see stuff all along here. I heard that they were putting the pipes like 20 feet below. Does that make sense? If it's underwater. It I remember re-hearing that they had to be much deeper under a watershed. Okay. When I was reading some of the court so documents. And look at the hay bale over here holding. Just, I don't know why that's in the waterway. That looks like watercress or something. It, it is watercress. Her team. Watercress doesn't float. She works for Rockford. She works for Rockford, right? So Rockford handles there's a baby frog. Okay, there's a baby frog right there. See him? Right mm. there. You see him? Not yet. <laughs> I have to see him, but we got all this going baby on frog here. Is right here. Oh I see him, yeah he's cute. Yeah. Let's see. Um I can smell though this uh, this uh, this product, whatever it is. It doesn't smell like something she I normally see. For going under roads or under wetlands or streams, they use different contractors, subcontractors. Well, Isn't this is supposed to be saying? part of the Silver Lake. This is part of the Silver Lake watershed, which has this a exceptional value. exceptional value designation. So they have just now uh, affected. There's mud in that. In there. Look at all the mud in there too. That's mud. So um, we're going to just walk a little bit more. This is definitely I do have standing. another jar with me. I took two, but um, you, you can get it and we can get that water. Yeah, we're gonna get that. I'm just gonna videotape as we walk, and then we can get samples. Let's Actually, do the videotaping. It looks cloudy, Vera. That it look section cloudy is cloudy. Yeah, that's it all like cloudy a in there. Cloudy part coming in right there. Why too. are the rocks like that? I wonder if they would like that. I, I guess normally. Pile, I don't know, but it looks. Cloudy. But you can see the rocks are all speckled and but splattered. But if you look here, it looks like it's this cloudy stuff coming out. It's yeah, it's like it's seeping. coming in, seeping I in. If it's still leaking. It's still seeping out. Huh. Okay, we're gonna walk over here and take a look a little right bit here. more. It look like it's seeping? Yeah, it does. I see something running in there. It's right here. Yeah, like something's coming through. Um, yeah. It's coming from under the rocks here. I wonder if they like built up these rocks. This doesn't look normal. Now, see this? This is all dug up. No, look this at this. This is dug up. Look they at this. this. They did this. This is dug up and they made some kind of a, a way for the water to move. Look at this. The rocks have been moved. This is not naturally occurring. And we got two culverts right there. Let's see. One culvert, the other culvert under this little bridge on Snow Hollow Road. I think we can walk through there too and see if it's traveled, if the mud has traveled beyond the cul okay. culvert. Okay. It's very low. The know. water is so low that we can walk through I all I this. Two dead crayfish. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I see another crayfish. Yeah, I see There's something dead there. there. Yeah. And, and two. There. That's two right, two you do. Crayfish. Yeah. I don't know how sensitive the crayfish are. They might are. be more sensitive than the fish. The fish. Plus, the fish aren't on the bottom as much. They can go to the surface. The yeah, we got, we got two. Under. Should I turn some rocks over to see what I find? Uh, if you want, let me just see the catch. Let's see if I can get the crayfish on here. Should we grab one? No. Uh, gee, I guess you could. We could put it in the jar with the mud, right? When we take a sample. Somebody could. I don't know if it could be analyzed. I have no idea. There's another oh. one, Vera. Oh there's my gosh. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch. Yeah, there's there's two more dead crayfish right there. There's uh, another, they're all over the place. All over the place. The oh my gosh. Oh, it did. Look, Look at that. One. Right. Did you see them all? Yep. They killed the crayfish. I'm trying to see if I can get it on here that we can see it. If somebody can, can see it. It's really, I'm zooming in. Woof, woof, woof. Sorry. Got to watch it. It's going to fall I in see. there. There's, a, there's dead crayfish all over the place. I see. Two babies there. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight. Okay. Dead crayfish right here. Just right here. Now the DEP would have to be called for something like this. And if they haven't been called, we're going to call. Line? We're going to call the hotline. Yeah, in case they haven't called, because she didn't admit to the DEP what being called. What is that? Oh, is that a wire? That looks like a wire. What the heck is that? Somebody's head wire. Yeah, they're all These over. These crayfish, I think, died from the, the blowout. Whatever you want. The mud return. She called mud it. Mud return. Clearly, yeah. they died from the mud return. They're probably filter feeders, and, and they couldn't handle it. So is that the count we see right here? One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six. Should I walk in there or what do you think? Well, if we walk in there, we'll stir it up. Didn't I count Oh, I eight? might stir it up, you're right. I counted eight, right? Yeah. Crayfish. At least from just this vantage just right point. Here. And this That's is just this little section. Mm -hmm. So it happened, it blew out into here. Yep. So it must have been coming from over there. So where do you think it's here. coming out of? It's leaking out yep. of there. It's there. The and main, then the main leak is there. The main leak Oops. is there. Okay, got we got that. Yeah. All right, we got this, and I'd like to walk a little bit further up here. I just want to see if there's any more dead. Do you want me to grab the headset? Well, I don't know if we have to. Any reason you think? No. But let's see what you find over there. See if you see any more. There's no mud here. So this is where it started going down. It's going down this way, yeah, because that's where you see the mud over there. No mud here. Yeah, we're seeing stuff all over. Oh boy, it's, the smell is starting to bother me. Is it? Yeah, a little bit, yeah, but we got, I'm going to move into it. After you look at that, we'll go towards the culvert maybe. Any mud on that section? That seems clear, so it's. You know what I should do is take my meter and test the water. Good idea. Why? I got the meter, right? Conductivity, TDS, see if it's affected yeah, that. Let's do that. Because this is exceptional value. Do the TDS here. Right there and then there. And down there. That's a good idea. Let's do that. And we'll get some readings. Yes. We've got the Lamada yes. uh, meter for TDS, conductivity, and salinity. Yes. When are they coming? Well, when we have the, un other, the university coming in a couple of weeks, and maybe still there'll be something? University of Tennessee? Oh, you mean Duke, yeah. Duke, if Duke wants to come out here, the let them know. The watershed study on, on aquatic life is the Academy of Natural Sciences. Remember, it's Belinsky and Anderson. And that's what? Temple University, right? Is uh, that Academy Temple? Academy of Natural Oh. Belinsky. Is that Pittsburgh? No, Academy of Natural Sciences. Oh. I thought it was connected with a university, huh? I'm going to try and walk here. That's another pit. The, brown stuff. the same thing. Oh, that stuff, the brown. Well, maybe it's mixing with the hay. See, I'm walking on these rocks now, and they're all splattered. Huh? Yeah, I'd like to go up there and see how it's, how it's running out, because it's going downstream this way. We can follow the downstream path. Yeah, this, you can see it's splattered all over here. You see that? Yeah, this is all splattered. So we have our creeks being uh, impacted. But, you know, over here it's weird. Here, look, because clearly, I think it's still seeping. I think that there's still, a, look. Yeah, I see it's coming in. Let's oh, meet, I'll get close to that. Let me get a it's picture from here. Right it's, there. it's coming right there, yeah. So it's still happening. Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah, it is. Look. Right behind this rock, I'm going to zero in. We it can show the seepage. Seep. It's seeping in. Or it's just the runoff. You see how it's coming in? No, it's getting cloudy. See how that stuff is like moving? It's coming up. I think it's still coming up from the Nashville fissure underground. It's possible. That's what I think. And this is, um, let's see, the barricades back the there. It's all here. It's all like all in here. It's all cloudy. Did you get that? It's yeah, I did. The cloudiness in, the cloudiness okay. in there. And, and now we're going to just follow this stream. Thankfully, it's uh, low, low water, so it's easy to walk through this whole thing. This reminds me, these stones, you know, it reminds me of bones. Really? Yeah, the bones of the dead. Yeah, well, it is. It's like a graveyard. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm in a graveyard. Whew. Look at these amazing rocks, the way they pile up all alongside of this bed, but I guess these were piled up maybe on purpose. 
Oh, uh, and he's still alive? Yeah. Yeah. Dude. You see any mud over there? Now look at the mud here. Oh, there's a bunch here. Yeah, you see that? Yeah. Right there. Yeah. There's a bunch of mud. It slid over down here. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's right in front of this whole culvert area. Look at that. They haven't gotten all of it. They've contained some of you know, the bulk of it, but look at this. It's going down. Yeah, look at the mud. It's right in front of this culvert too. Mm -hmm. Both of them. When did this happen? He's not sure. Um, or the neighbor up the road, a friend of ours, said uh, maybe this morning or last night. He saw them all working this morning. So we'll have to see if uh, we can talk. Walk yeah, I want to walk through. But I'm thinking of this one with the rock. You're going to go through that one. I'm thinking of this one here. And this, as I'm walking through, see if I can film it. Where? Right here, left, on the ground, foamy stuff. Oh yeah, foamy stuff coming up here. Sorry, Creek. You know, you had to go through this. Yeah, there's drilling mud in there. This is drilling mud we're standing yeah, that's on all here. Drilling mud. There, right. this is all drilling I know, mud. it's all drilling mud. Look at that, it's all in there. It's going down. You guys see how the other side looks? We're going to walk through this culvert, which is a tunnel. It's, wow, it's a big one. I've never walked through something like this. I'm going to go... This is new. Ooh. You see the tunnel? How deep is this? I don't know how long it is. What do you think? Well, more than 20 feet, 30 feet maybe. Maybe 40, right? Let's see how this is. The water's running in here. We're going to keep walking to get to the other side. I left my camera case on the shore there. I hope it's okay. Yeah. I don't think it's going to steal it, do you? I know. Hopefully not. Okay, we can walk in the side of this thing. You can hear the echo. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Oh, you can see the drilling mud in here. Look at this. It's all cloudy. It's all cloudy coming through. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's all coming down. And look, oh, see where they put They put a buffer there. They know. They know about it. I think they put a... Oh yeah, look at it. It's all coming in here. It's here. It's here. It's right in the... It's, this is drilling mud here. Yeah, this is all drilling mud right in here. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Let's see if there's more dead crawfish, crayfish in here. Look at this. This is all full. This is all drilling mud. All drilling mud here. We're and actually stirring it up by walking through it, but it's definitely drilling mud. And look at this. We see where they put a uh, hay. Uh, hay wall, I guess, hay fencing there to hold some of it back from going any further downstream. Oh, it's getting pretty deep right now. I'm not going to I'm not going to walk any further. It's getting pretty deep and the rocks, they got some big rocks. No? I don't know. It's up to you if you want to try and I'll just film it, but um, this is definitely going downstream. I don't know if that hay will, of course, buffer the whole thing. What a beautiful spot this is, oh, though. Sorry. <laughs> That's not good. When's the last tetanus shot you had? Oh, I, ha I, I don't know. Oh, a long time ago. Maybe 40 years ago. Yeah, this thing is rusty inside. It's a uh, tunnel. I just want to 
see if there's any more dead crawfish. Yeah, I can't see it here. We're not able to see anything. It's too. It's pretty dark. It's pretty uh, milky. Go off and walk around the other way and go on the other side and see if there's anything beyond the hay bale. If you're able to, yeah, you want to try it, and I'll just film you. Yeah, maybe go back and we can walk along because I'm I'm concerned about my bag. Yeah, I got the uh, other cameras in there. Oh, yeah, I'm a little bit. I'd like to go back and get that. And this is rust. This is rust in here also. Did you see the milkiness as you're walking?